I want to make some actual progress. We're going to course six now, which I really like. It's over here. Before we do that, hug this Laria, and there's a toad over here. Hey, the toad is going. Hold on to your hat! If you lose it, you'll be injured easily! Not kidding. If you do lose your cap, you'll have to fight in the course where you lost it! Oh boy, it's not looking good for Peach! She's still trapped somewhere inside the walls! Please, Mario, you have to help her! Did you know that there are any world inside the walls? Oh, is that a fact? Yup, it's true! Bowser's troops are there, too! Oh, here, take this! I've been keeping it for you! Oh, how nice! He kept a star for me! Thanks, Toad. There are one of three of these in, in Peach's castle. This is the first one. And this... is Course 6, Hazy Maze Cave. For Star Swing Beast in the Cavern. I'll make it a good effort to try and get all the coins in the first run, so I can just get naked with the rest. Stop punching the signs, read the damn... <laughs> Both ways fraught with danger. Watch your feet. Those who can't do the long jump, make your way to the right. Right, work elevator cloudy maze. Left, black hole in the underground lake. Red circle two, underground lake. Arrow, you are here. It's a somewhat crude map, but I suppose it'll do. Those spider things are infinitely spawning, and those, uh, pits shoot flames. Grab this and slide down. Plus, these spider things here. Got all the underground news from the first Mario Brothers here for underground sections. It's very nice. Here's this platform. To move it, you just step on the arrows and make, it'll go in that direction. If it'll hit a wall, it'll just go... It'll just go into the opposite direction. Red coins are in this room. And only this room. And if you fall off, the platform will disappear after a couple seconds and respawn in this place. Like so. I'll help the platform tilts a little. Yeah. You can see they're Mr. Eyes. They're really tricky to try to get coins out of, actually. There's a Mr. I straight in front of us. I think we can get coins from this one. Or not, I could have just making that up. Fine, we're just gonna go in the underground maze. It is not wise to be coming here without uh, the other power up. As this as this place is filled with poison gas. Staying in it longer staying in it for any point in time will just it'll start draining your health. That's the way out. I'm sure they kind of actually bothered with this shit. If you stay in, is that still Mario or stuff start coughing? That's like that's like a nice touch. We're just swoopers.
Also a nice touch that you won't lose health until your face is uh, submerged in the gas. If you're uh, standing on it, your face isn't submerged, you will take damage. And supers are always annoying. Pretty much any Mario game they're in, they're annoying. I'm pretty sure this is the first game to actually adopt the Super's cur uh, current look. It's what they use in other games like Mar Paper Mario games or what have you. Um, I forget what the what spawn when I put the switch. will end up being, and I mean, the huge majority of the, your coin stack will be. Though these doors that lead to these lifts, these lead to two particular stars. That one is star number five, and it leads to the black hole underneath. Star four. And that one has a lot of coins, which I'm gonna go grab. And also sniff it. This is the one that leads to star four. Oh god, I'm on, I'm on fire! I'm on fire! I'm on fire! We don't want that star. Down, please. Oh, my God. Ow. I'm gonna have him. I'm gonna help. Oh, I better not try to get burned. If I do, uh, step one, I'm in the gas and I'm dead. Okay, let's get out of here. All I do is climb this, hop on this door, climb these, and jump out. There you go. Now this is a more direct route to the black hole. But no, it's not the most direct. The, the left from the entrance is the most direct. There are folding rocks here, and that's death. Damn it. <sighs> Rolling rocks! Stuck out of the way. There's uh, another glimpse of Star 4. Which always taunted me as a kid. I was like, how do you get that star? And then I discovered that there was a maze. And I was like, oh. And then I saw that there was indents in the maze. I'm like, oh. Uh, we're now we're in the underground lake. Which is pretty nice. Pretty nice looking. There's a star, and there's a swimming beast in the cavern in particular, Dory, who is a sea dragon. All you have to do is ground pound on her, on her back, and she'll lower her head, and then you can put her in any direction you want to go. She's a pretty cool sea dragon. There's a hundred star, or hundred one star. So let's get this. Call it a nice thing. Let's get our actual star. Here we go. Amazing. 
Now we're cool. We can do that. We can do that. We can do star number two right now. But there's a little something else that's also in the underground lake. So let's make a place a little shortcut. You're gonna have to use the long jump here to get get around this. You go the, the shortcut. But know if the, if you fuck up, you're gonna die. Under and down. Ah! Uh! pound. Tori, where are ya? You know, something that always kind of intrigued me, that there were like no coins at the bottom of that leg. I always thought there would, you know, there would be, just, you know. Because, no, I decided not to bother. So, now that we've hitched a ride on Dory again, we want to navigate her to those doors. You saw those doors. Those doors right over there. Jump off. Jump here. Open this door, and suddenly, what's this? A stage in a stage. Welcome to the metal cap switch course. Once you step in the cap switch, the green blocks become solid. If you turn your body into metal with the metal cap, you can walk underwater. Try it. I love the metal cap. Metal Mario is awesome. Now I need a really swag remix of the invincibility Starman theme. Mario is completely invincible, even from fall damage. Metal cap right. Waterfall left metal cap switch. Just walk on water and like not give a shit. It's awesome. You just have that me whole metallic thing going for you now. It's awesome. <laughs> metal, cap. metal Mario was such a badass that he had to reappear in several other games. As is a different sort of skin for Mario. Like a Mario Golf is the ultimate golfer, or Mario Kart 7. That's, you know, one of the best, uh, card, go cards in the game. You just step on the Metal Cap switch. The Metal Cap makes Mario invincible. Now Metal Caps will pop out all the green blocks you find. We're going to have to use this to get the other, uh, on the bottom of this lake. There's a current, which Metal Mario just said, fuck currents, I can walk underwater now. We'll be using to get the last star in uh, course three. Here we go! The waterfall is the same waterfall that's in that, where you get spit out from the Vanish Cap course in Peach's mode. So we'll just take you there. Now we can do the eight red coins. So let's do that. I just love how they just give you a metal cap, metal <laughs> debris block goes right at the start of the stage. You say, hey, you want invincibility? Go right ahead. We won't stop you. Oh, you still take ball damage, okay. I thought you didn't. <laughs> Anyway, now we can get to go and grab these uh, red coins by using this platform. Four of them are here, and four of them are higher up. Let's see them, actually. Three of them are in these boxes. We. Jump over this. Three. And four. And then we can also use them to go across. Jump onto this before I can fuck it up. Yeah. 
Well, I can just be fancy and do that. Remember, guys, all kicks will work. I just ride this little platform and you can get the other red coins. Supers that'll just come right at you just to fuck you up. Like, eh. I don't give a shit. Seven and eight! And then we start. Weehee! <laughs> I just expect every time I do that, or I'll just jump too high because of the airy gains. Every time he gets a star, like, Wee! Oh god, no, put me down! No, not me, please! Metalhead Mario can move is star number three. And what you'll be needing. I want to go to the underground cave again. Oh, that heart, by the way, every time you pass through it, um, Gain health. As long as you run through it, you can't just sit on it or like stand under or whatever. You have to run through it and you gain health. However, time the faster it spins. I'm away from this one. I messed up my timing. Come on. Okay, let's try that again. We want to walk here. We'll walk on this little path. Yeah, access this little spot. Don't try to jump the gun, because these guys will mess will mess up your timing. Like that. <laughs> Damn it! Let's try that again. There. Fucking <laughs> A. Whoop! Sweet. Start over four, I'm at having the toxic maze. I'm not gonna show you this, I'm just gonna meet you with this where the star is. It's this one you want, the one that's covered in moss texture. So these guys. Ta da! Amazing emergency exit. Same as deals before. To the maze. This door right here. The one where the blue coin trail ends. Get the switch. Oh, the little fence textures. <laughs> this one, unlike the other one, you're gonna actually have to do some work for. You're gonna be climbing! If you jump and hold the A button, you can hang on to some objects overhead. It's the same as grabbing a flying bird. Yeah, it's like, like the owl. In course two. Just don't let go of the A button. Or you're gonna die. Oh, 
also going off the edge will automatically make you drop. So you have to make sure you stay on center. Or you will die! <laughs> now we can get that last star. Watch for rolling rocks. Rocks fall, you die. This one's really easy to get to. Let's go to the uh, black hole. Watch for rolling rocks indeed. All you need to do is wall jump. Wish you not fuck that up. Stars here. here and now we have 50! <laughs> Wonderful. You've recovered 50 power stars! Now you can open the starter on the third floor! Bowser's there, you know. He is? I thought he was down here! What the hell are you talking about, isn't buddy voice? Oh, you found all of the castles, haven't you? Red, green, and blue? The caps you get from the color blocks are really helpful. Hurry along now, the third floor is just ahead. But I, I'm not even done with the... But I... Damn it, disembodied voice! <laughs> Can't go on my own pace, can you? Now that I have 50 stars, Mips has reappeared. Where's that old guy? There. There's a toad. Don't mind me, Toad, just trying to chase down a rabbit. Kind of a dick. I'd like to make note that the rabbits are a little easier to catch in the um, DS version. Just a little, though. They're still kind of dickish. Come here. I figure this, this mod, this uh, rabbit is named after the engine of the game. I forget the full acronym, but... Eh. Follows the exact pattern, it's just I can't get to it. Come here, you little fuckface! Oh no, no! Not at you again! I'm in a great hurry, can't you see? I don't have to squall with stars. Here, have it! I'm never meant to hide it from you. It's just that I'm in such a rush. That's it, that's all. No, I must be off. Ow, oh, let me go! Fine. Think. Give me that. 51! Now that we're done with that, let's go and get that star that's in course 3, real quick. Star number 6 is the jet stream. Involves using this bad boy. Just, just, it sounds like you're taking total command of the water when you have the little cap on. I don't know why, it just does. You wanna jump from here? You hopefully have enough time to get to the stream. Ding ding! Hmm. Okay, now back to underground. 